And welcome to the Phillies post-game show. I'm Jack Suzanne, and alongside me is Jake Skelly. Phillies are coming off a big win against the Mets. The bamboo plant proven big. Phillies breaking their losing streak. Jake, I want to hear your thoughts. Um, yeah, I thought the Phillies bats were really big tonight, of course. Two big home runs early on by Gene Segura and Reese Hoskins. Um, Gene Segura especially making up for that um, errant throw that he had that um, brought in a run in the first inning. Um, Zach left definitely not the greatest show, but overall he's been good this season. I think he'll bounce back his next start. I definitely think Eflin did not have the best of nights, but it was enough to get the win. I feel like that offense is just too high-powered. Michael Franco proving the haters wrong with a big home run. And I feel like Scott Canary at the leadoff spot is the right decision. He's definitely a good player to set the tone. What do you think? What did you think about that decision from Gabe Kapler? Um, I completely agree. I thought um, Scott uh, starting Scott Kinger in the leadoff position um, was a terrific move for the team. It really um, shook things up in the lineup and uh, brought Bryce Harper, whose bat has been really inconsistent this year, um, back to the three hole, which I think is a much better fit for him at this point um, and for the team this season. I definitely think that was huge having Kingery in the leadoff spot. It was all around, top to bottom, a great hitting performance from everyone on this team, something you don't really see that often. Even from players like Jay Bruce, who came off the bench in this one, came up with a big home run. And he was struggling after his four home runs this at the beginning of his tenure with the Phillies. He was struggling a little bit, came back and hit a homer in this one. And that's all the time we have for Phillies post game today. Make sure you tune in for the next three games against the Mets. So long. For Jake Skelly, I'm Jack Suzanne.